<laughs> Is that Mr. Hatch in the flesh? Great to meet you, man. That's I've, I've seen you on those videos all the time. That's awesome, man. Hey, sh the God, holy crap. That wide bow tie? Oh, it's got a, that. Oh, it's really him. Is that? That's really, holy crap. I've never seen this truck in person before. Dang, this thing's so, how do you think he turns, Brian? Holy crap. I've never seen that, that God. That's, that's freaking all, I've never, oh, wow. <laughs> We've gotten a lot of bread today. Everybody get kicked out of Bojangles. What is up, bread gang? How's everybody doing today? Fresh new haircut. How's everybody like it? Let me know. I got the normal NC State shirt on today. Uh, outfit of the day. Got some Sperry's with an untied shoe. That's just what we got. That's what we're rocking with today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. As, as you can see behind me, it's not the normal wide bow tie that's chilling behind me. We've uh, we've switched up switched it up a little bit today. I'm super excited to to kind of have this opportunity to test something out today. So instead of being lifted today, we're gonna try lowered. I have a a lowered 2012 Dodge Challenger, 22 inch wheels, all that good stuff. Lowering springs, you name it. We, I'm not gonna go over it too much just yet. It is a V6 when we get to that. All of you people that are like, oh, it's a V6, blah, blah, blah. Here's what I'll do for you, because I know y'all are gonna have something to say. I'm gonna go ahead and let you have this opportunity right now to voice your opinion. I want you to like out loud, as you're watching this video, go ahead and say what you need to say. I'm gonna give you just a second, okay? Okay, that's right, yeah. I can't hear you, so shut up. That's, that's, that's what I have to say to you. Before we even get into how it looks, it looks super awesome. I hope you can tell from here. We're gonna go for a test drive because that's what we came to do today is to test drive it and see what really is the difference in ride quality and stuff like that between a lowered vehicle and a lifted vehicle. So we're gonna hop in, we're gonna go for a test drive. It is really loud, so some points will have exhaust in it. Some points won't. I'm gonna throw some music in it, but let's go for a test drive. Oh, well, well, well. What do we have here? Even already sitting in it, I'm so much lower to the ground. That and I can't see my tires sticking out the side. That's kind of weird, but it's the speed bumps that we're gonna have to go over. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. The person did say, uh, she actually, that owns this car, said we have to go over it at an angle. So I'm gonna skip through all that and we're gonna get to the fun part. So I did some driving around and your initial driving, I mean, it's not going to be too much different. Anybody that's driven a couple cars before, it's you know, it's not going to be drastically different. But you know, being lower, you're sitting a lot lower to the ground. Your center of gravity is different. Your turning is so much quicker. I can speed up and slow down so much quicker. It's, it's really refreshing to not have to drive like a dump truck all the time and being able to actually get up and go sometimes. Now it is a V6. So it's not like I can absolutely hammer it and just you know speed by anybody, but compared to my truck, it, there's just no comparison in speed. Like just being able to, just being able to get up and go like that, you know, sometimes it's really fun. I don't get to do that a lot in my truck, or I might rip the differential out of it. Hold on, this seatbelt. Hold on. Let me. Hold on just a second. Let me take care of the seatbelt. Sorry, I need to start promoting better road safety and wear my seatbelt in my videos. My, my truck, the indicator for not wearing the seatbelt goes off pretty quick. This vehicle does not, and I'm not gonna keep dealing with that. So and it's it's a change of pace, that's for sure. Going from a, a really big nine inch tall lifted truck on 15 wides to a, a lowered you know, challenger that's pretty quick, even for, for a six cylinder. It's just a, a good change, and it's, it's something fun to experience. We're gonna drive it around and there are a couple you know things that you have to keep in mind like i mean even with my truck i can't make real sharp turns and stuff like that and even with this like going over speed bumps in my neighborhood you kind of have to go over in an angle so there's certain things that are better than a lifted truck and certain things that are 
it is actually a little stiffer ride I think because there's less tire you feel more of the bumps and that's just something to expect one thing I actually really like is so this is the 1800 block of Tennessee Street here in Tallahassee right in College Town and the lanes are so freaking small and it's three lanes and driving through here I can just rip and move and do whatever the hell I want and just go different lanes and just have some fun and in a big ass truck I got to be in this middle lane all the time because if I you know there's a curb on that side on some ways there's curb on that side so if there's any play one or the other way I'm hitting a curb so I have to be able to stay in this middle lane and that's something that comes with driving a big truck you can't park as many places parking garages stuff like that this you can really take anywhere and that's something that is kind of enjoyable but again it's it's a sacrifice that most of us truck guys make to be able to drive the big trucks that we drive one thing I did find out about a lowered car that I don't like already is trying to find cool spots to film with this thing sucks because I can't take it off road I can't throw it up on curbs I can't do the normal BS that I like to do in my truck and you know go find all these cool spots so and I haven't gotten to the point on YouTube yet where I like to film around a bunch of people so normal parking lots aren't the best so having to find oh crap sorry my phone just fell oh geez trying to find parking spots or parking lots to film in that aren't just crowded and you know kind of cool secluded spots to film and I can just do my thing isn't the easiest to do in a lowered car it makes things a little more difficult so I uh to be honest I'm having a lot of fun driving this thing though it's it's a lot less stressful having a lifted truck is so stressful and you know just having to worry about where you're turning all the time and what you're doing this thing you can just move and, and ride freely and just kind of do your thing so but we're gonna get out and we're gonna take a look at how it looks I just got to the little spot behind the bank that I go to and we're gonna take a look at the so this this is the 2012 Dodge Challenger that I've had the pleasure to drive today shout out to the beautiful lady that let me drive this today you know who you are I love it I mean I like the white and black I'm not a huge fan of white like if my truck was white I wouldn't like it but I actually really like this 22 inch wheels 265s in the front 295s in the back it is a v6 I don't remember the name of the coilovers or the coils that she put on it they are lowering coils um, <clears throat> I don't know she's got aftermarket bumpers and stuff on it so it's got you know the cool black trim kind of looks like a like a shade on the front that's really cool the 22 inch uh, Verde wheels with the Toyo proxies always an awesome tire to go with black louvers on the back I absolutely love that dual exhaust in the back again I don't know what exhaust setup she has or anything like that but I actually really like this car the insides really nice she has a 12 inch sub in it which is always a plus if you know me anything about my truck I've got two 12s I love bass so having bass is definitely a plus I mean it's just a super clean car I actually we washed it yesterday so it's it's very clean right now my truck's off somewhere in Tallahassee hopefully doing good things breaking some necks I hope so but I just wanted to give you all an opportunity to you know I want to just be able to share my thoughts with the lowered life would I switch over to something like this I mean if it was a Hellcat maybe but short of a Hellcat or like a ZR1 or anything like that or the uh, the ZL1 Camaro short of that I probably wouldn't switch over but I just I love my truck too much that wide bow tie that's what we do I mean it's 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 the vehicle the bread gang and you know I, I couldn't abandon that I mean if I was gonna get it I actually thought about it if I was gonna get something like this I'd probably get a ZL1 Camaro because then it's still a bow tie and I could make it super fat I'd put some 305s or some crazy shit in the back and we'd still be wide baby you know I think it's never a true that wide bow tie channel test drive until we get Brian on the channel so I'm gonna go find Brian I think he's at work right now I'm gonna go uh, yell at my boss a little bit to try and let him off so we can get him in the video having Brian with us is always a plus so we're gonna try and get Brian maybe he'll go to Bojangles with us or maybe maybe just maybe we might hit up Chipotle today. all right guys Brian finally got off work say hey Brian the v6 Challenger and the 2.5 2.0 2 liter V whatever the hell that is over there, the Prius. We're about to race when we come around this light. Here we go, baby. Let's get this bread. Are you ready to lose, Brian? Yeah. You think you're gonna lose? Well, I, I got a car. I'm gonna win right now if I just speed ahead. I got a car in front of me though. Well, get around him. I'll, I'll speed up. Get around him, and then we'll do a, a honk. You honk, all right? So honk okay. one, two, and then third honk will go. Okay. All right. You ready? Three hogs. Hey, slow down, slow down, slow down. If I have a chance, I gotta start 
got me off the line because it's so much lighter but I think in the long run I would have had him that was crazy do I smell your clutch yeah hey I think off the line yours is lighter so you got me in the long run I probably would have got back up <laughs> hey but that was a good hey that was fun though <laughs> my defense in my defense in my defense hold on hold on hold on in my defense one I did not put the pedal to the floor it's not my car so I'm not gonna <laughs> risk that two I don't know how to drive cars like that, so maybe I did something wrong. But today, I do have to give, I, I gotta kinda give the win to, to Brian over here. I mean, I gotta, may, maybe different day, different driver, who knows? But we, either way, we get this bread, and uh, I'm, I'm back in the, I'm back in the bow tie. That's what matters. So we're, we're dropping the car off. We're gonna go get something to eat. And uh, as always,